If an asteroid were to slam into Earth, there's a strong chance it would end up at sea with oceans covering roughly 70% of our planet's surface. An impact would have devastating effects if it occurred within 10 to 20 kilometers of a city's coastline, potentially killing thousands of people. But if it hit out in the middle of the ocean, the massive waves generated by the collision would quickly die down. A new simulation reveals that the destructive waves would be unable to travel long distances, preventing city swallowing tsunamis from reaching the shorelines. Water vapor, instead, could pose a larger threat. The impact would launch billions of tons of the greenhouse gas into the air, with potential to linger in the stratosphere for months or even years. The new visualization from the Los Alamos National Laboratory comes as a result of NASA's second international workshop on asteroid threat assessment. Given the likelihood of an asteroid making impact with the ocean if it were set to hit Earth, the researchers explored what the risks of a resulting tsunami would be. Scientists at LANL used high-performance computing to investigate how an asteroid's kinetic energy is transferred to the atmosphere and the ocean. They created simulations with varying asteroid size, angle of impact, and whether or not it exploded in an airburst. The simulations focused on three materials, basalt asteroid, static air, and static water. The investigation revealed that more kinetic energy would be transferred to the water, and in the largest scenario, the visualization shows how a 250-meter-wide asteroid could create a transient crater, giving rise to a massive plume of water and water vapor. But, the researchers say, colliding shockwaves in the atmosphere and water, along with the wind at the water surface would hinder the creation of a propagating wave. It also revealed that a direct impact with the water would be more likely to create a tsunami than an airburst would. In contrast to what's previously been thought, an airburst would break the asteroid apart, the researchers explain, causing much of it to skim the surface rather than slamming into it. Even if it wouldn't travel hundreds of miles to threaten cities, an asteroid that hit the ocean would still create waves of staggering enormity. Immediately upon impact, a transient crater is created and a splash curtain is thrown high into the air. The researchers explain, water rushes into the crater forming a water jet which can be several kilometers high. This jet collapses to form a rim wave, which is hundreds of meters high. A new water jet begins to form and to, in turn, create a new rim wave, a process that continues for some time. Each of these rim waves has the potential to become a tsunami. The researchers also noted another threat of equal importance. An asteroid impact out at sea would send large amounts of water vapor into the air, which would be lofted into the stratosphere. According to the team, this could linger for months or even years, and as it is a greenhouse gas, there would be severe implications for the global climate.